No laughing on the podcast. <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> podcast. How dare you? My week in New Year has been Got shit. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. I haven't checked if we're in frame. <laughs> Great timing. <laughs> Brad just giving us the thumbs up. We're good. I'm also joined by Blake from Blake Ghostface. I haven't checked if I'm mentally here yet. Mentally here? Yeah. It's not. No time like the present. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, ben. Someone parked in my fucking car for yeah! the second night in a row. It's the same fucking car. Get out of my parking spot. If you're there tomorrow night, it's getting towed. Other than that... If you watch the podcast, like KFC yeah. does, bin. Yeah. However, I went fine. I went 3-1. For like the 18th time in a row, Brennan's opened the nuts against me in every single match that we played. So he beat me in the final. I was on camera three times tonight. Simply because that's how it ended up. Don't you control who's on that? Yeah, but... I, I schedule it a very specific way when we're in the situation that we're in. And yeah. simply just because I was on there round one, when the second and third came up, I just didn't have a choice but to be on camera. And I was like, oh, cool. Did you win all the ones that you were on camera for? I lost the last one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Two for one. Spoilers. This will come up before those videos go up, so... Um, yeah. And you've only played them once this week, yeah? Yeah, I didn't play Sunday. Yeah. Either did I. I was at a christening. Um, I was but at a christening as well. Different christenings though. Many babies. I Many thought Jake babies. was going to show up at my christening to be honest. I was like... I don't oh, think there's Jake's a lot of overlap here. in our friends other than the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Mine Despite the fact that we grew up as a so, suburb apart. Yeah, true. Where? Hmm? Where was your christening well, at? Uh, mine was at uh, Warrawong. Oh, okay. Imagine if Jake was like, mine was here and I was, like, I was at that same christening. Yeah, imagine we're just on Aren't separate sides of the church. What? Well, yeah, he grew up yeah. in Oak Flats. I was in Mount Warrior. Same. Yeah, and <laughs> literally we never three, interacted with each other until apart. this game. Yeah, but both of you are not... old as fuck, though. Why are we not at the christening? <laughs> Excuse the fuck out of you. <laughs> I think there's the same you age gap between us as there is between us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, so... Yeah. So the statement's correct. In equal parts... I guarantee you, everybody who watches this is fucking 12 or some shit. Edwin's yeah, not 12. Edwin's not King. 12. I actually don't know how old Edwin is, but I'm assuming he's younger than me. He's at that specific age where he's G. Yeah. G. G. Cool. Um, so my week. Um, still on Ignisters, still performing relatively well. I would have gone X1 tonight. Um, I was versing Altergeist in round 3. Um, he had one trap card, and like, it's Altergeist, so the, it was one set, I didn't know it was a trap card, but it's Altergeist, so it's gonna be a trap card. Um, there's a very specific card in Ignisters to deal with back row. Just wasn't in my extra deck. Oh. I had 14 cards, that should have been the 15th, just wasn't there. <laughs> Good. So this is Jake's fault, because Jake sits at home all week and he's like, gotta do testing, gotta do testing, gotta do testing, gotta do testing. I do not. Testing. The car doesn't leave my, the, sorry, my bag doesn't leave the car. So there's I, no, like, midweek testing. Are your cards bending? Generally. From being in cards? That's, where I'm, that's, where, I'm that's yeah. where I'm going with this. That's where I'm going with this. Yeah. I think, because my Flunder deck, more so than my Klee's, or, like, literally decks I've had for fucking years longer than it, have started to, and I'm like, oh, I've just left these in the car all, like, for the last month and a half, and it's been hot as fuck. Yeah, if they're, if they're getting hot, they're gonna bend. Yeah. 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 But also, yeah, like ones in my apartment, especially with the weather that we've been having, have just been collecting so much moisture that they're also starting to bend. Yeah. Why do you keep putting your, your cup on the plane? Oh, shit. Because I think it's a coaster. You did and this last week? Yeah. And it's like, no, but that's oh, water. That's water. Run? This is why we can't have nice things. No, like... it's genuinely because my brain goes, don't put it on the table. It makes it moist. Um, but yeah, um, back to... It doesn't matter. We th doesn't... It's too late now. Wait, we don't no, give my... two fucks about it being on the table. But I need to put it on something, and then it would be rude. None of that was English. Nope. Um, so yeah. You know what I meant. So, um, the other match I lost is just because, um, yeah, I keep running into this interaction where I keep trying to be greedy and go for um, Monster Greed. Search and Field Spell, and I get fucked over by Ghost Ogre. Because I go it's for like the now. normal summon, search a monster, I get ogred, and then I have no access to get more monsters on the board. It's um, not ideal. Um, I did summon, um, 
fucking Pyro... No, not Pyro Phoenix, whatever it's called. Fire Phoenix, Ignista, unironically tonight. Because I was versing Harry with Prank Kids, and I needed a way for him to start baiting out shit. And he wasn't going to do it before the battle phase. Because I had my towers, he couldn't have the towers. But also, he kept summoning the monsters and, like, not let me destroy them by card effects. Side yeah. note, by the way, I don't understand how much I love that I've never heard you say the name of the card. You've never said the name. You have called it towers exclusively. And that is so good. It's just 10 out of 10. I don't know what, what the is. card's called. I, Jake doesn't know what it's called. I do. It's the arrival at Ignista. That's why I don't say it, because the, the it name is shit. the arrival at Ignista. It probably is. Exactly. That's all right. I don't need to know its name. All I need to know is what it does, and what it do is what it effectively do nothing. Be. It just sits there being big. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, I summoned that unironically um, to bait out some shit. Um, I played the deck probably more intensely in that match than I ever had because there were more annoying things, and it was prank kids, and every turn is like a fifteen hundred gap it puts between you and being able to yeah. kill them. Yep, it's very annoying. There it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I might need to add Ogre as a crossout target. Um, Please. But yeah, other than that, deck is doing just fine. Um, Blake, did you do much in the way of you get? Yeah, I do. Just because of work and then other shit. I end up doing like weird stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh all week. So did a lot of teaching. Um, Saturdays, I had like a bunch of friends come in from like my look, like Destiny crew and stuff like this who just randomly came in wanting to play Yu-Gi-Oh. And instead of subjecting them to other people, um, I kind of was like, I've got my deck on me, and like, it was helping them. One's playing Blue Eyes, one's playing um, Shadows. So, just like, helping out with Quite them. a disparity between those decks. Yeah, look, not <laughs> to wrong. To be fair, hey. <laughs> if you're just summoning an alternative, it's great. Yeah. Um, Blue Eyes top this weekend. My favorite thing was uh, being told. Man, this Flutter deck really doesn't care about Winda, and I went, man, my Flutter deck really doesn't care about Winda. Just funny. Um, but to that, and then organizing the OTS um, tournament that we're running this yes. weekend. Um, if we, I, there's no slot to, I don't imagine why yeah. you would even think about it, but it's interesting to bring up that again we're getting these like come to Wollongong on Sunday. Wollongong Sunday locals, uh, locals OTS championship. OTS championship. Um, this event is kind of interesting. The more I look into it and the more I go over the emails that we got sent, again, I get you were on that chain as well where it was just a first in best dress tournament. They could not care less how many people. They specified in the email they don't care how many people that we have at locals. It was, if you email us back before other stores, you'll get the, the championships. And I went, okay. Um, the map they sent us is nice. What is it? It's um, the new JD. Judgment, Dragon of oh, the Synchro. It's called it's called yeah, yeah. Judgment Heavenly Dragon or something like this. Heavenly something. I feel like we were supposed to get that map. Like that was a return to dual map from ago. a long time ago. Well, yeah. it's not a return to dual map. This was the thing, right? OTS Championship maps was the Trish Red Eyes JD map. The event it is, it, they are the maps for those events. Yeah. We just got given them over COVID because. They could have been remote dual prizing as well. Yeah. But the reason we didn't get the third was because we never ran any OT OTS this this OTS championship event. So we got that alive twins. Yeah, that one's thingy. definitely a return to dual. Yes. Man, I've seen I that posted. Um, so, and then the arm um, field centers. So it's only one play map. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But no. But on the email, on the email it says first place gets an OTS official. Um, play mat. Yeah. Sec uh, top four will get their invitation to Oceanics, which is the other thing that um, you're playing for. Yeah. Um, and then the rest is OTS at store's discretion. Konami had previously been running an OTS Championship Series. What? So Konami had already previously been running an OTS Championship Series. Okay. Because that was what we travelled to, like, Norellan and Penrith and all those places for. Interesting. And that was top eight get play mats. But oh. top two got their invita invitations to, like, the state OTS championship. Oh, so it's like an LLDS almost. Yeah, it was essentially LLDS. Weird. And that was operating... That had its finals in January, which was why I was surprised when we got an OTS championship. I was like... Well, because the... Do I have... No, I don't. I was going to see if I could get the email, because it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, but the way they broke it down was um, it's a... They explained it as a subsidiary tournament that yep. can run um because essentially where it came from was we inquired about getting some more events yeah they said 
this is the way you have to structure your stuff. Yes, you're getting a lot of people, but you need to structure it in this very specific way for us to allow it. Until then, which should be soon, which is really cool, you should try for this because it's like a, a, a smaller way for stores to get people in because there's invitations up. Try that. Um, and we went, sure, no problem. Then we got the email. My boss responded to it very quickly. Um, and then they emailed us back at the time. What's interesting, is it interesting? It's just very like specific, is the K KTS file or the K yeah, KTS file, the Konami tournament system file, we emailed directly to them, not to Konami. It goes to them and then they give you guys invites. I don't know what... Is that maybe just so it doesn't get lost within, like within the, the miasma theme, of all of the shit going the on? people who emailed us weren't Konami. <laughs> it was like... I don't think it was Konami. I think it was like the people who run shit. And I was like, I hope you get invites. If this is how it works. It says specifically, email us the thing so we can give people like the named... And I'm like, okay. However, I am down for if they want to, want to give stores, smaller events with invites to get people to go... And, I mean, I don't know which one of us doesn't have invites yet, but... I topped, like, two weeks ago! He did come second. Wait, second? Third. Third. Yeah. You came second. Yeah. I came you, eight. Do you have your invite? But it does matter, because I got my invite. Come get your invite. Yeah, Sunday. Actually, I got my do invite. Do you want to play Flanders? Missed he, opportunity. No, no, we've, we've talked about this. I'm very much on board with what he's playing. I'm very excited. Oh, to see oh! It. I thought you meant anti-flunder propaganda. As soon as you, as soon as you well, post that the messenger, I DM both these two. Going, <laughs> yeah, immediately. I need to get good. I need to. I need to do I this. I need to come twelve. Um, <laughs> um. So yeah, for what it's worth, yeah. So good games, Wollongong, Gong. If you're around, come. Uh, eleven thirty rego, twelve twelve thirty start. Um, should be like three, two or four, five rounds, depending on how many people come down. Um, would be cool to see people. Should be fun. It's like the first event our store has had in a long time for Yu-Gi-Oh. We're really pushing because, again, because of our numbers, it shouldn't be hard. But I don't know if pe anybody cares about this. Actually, it, it is semi-interesting. So the way that you get regionals and all of this stuff is people, when you make an event, they accept the event. Like, the system says, you can run this event. It turns out, I didn't know this, there is a dude that goes through, or two dudes that go through and have to manually accept every single event that's posted from every store essentially in the oceanic region there's just some dudes that are like have, and they have to check is this a real store do you have play like do you exist and they have to do it every time and if they don't do that you aren't classified as getting the event or like the event officially it's running not, yeah not considered an official um, event so what we've done now is organized every single tuesday and sunday for the next month and a half all of them and so we've had a guy go through and go yes 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 yes, yes, yes. so now that they're like okay they so there's, pot there's potential that we could have had events sooner oh god yeah it's just oh, god, that yeah. for whatever for whatever reason their system wasn't recognizing because i was making it on the day and then running it and then by the time i'd ran it nobody had seen it yeah and i was like sick um in saying that, any communication whatsoever, because it kept coming up as successful, yep, you're all good, go for it. Um, and it wasn't until I was like, hey, get a regionals. Like, come on. Um, and then Jay, like, hassled them and was like, oi, give me a regionals. And they were like, oh, you need to do it in this specific way, please. And we went, okay, sure. Uh, but yeah, admin. Skadoosh. Where regional? We're regional. Um, but yeah, like, we get more... We're people. regional! We get more people than, like, fucking most locals I've ever been to uh, on a consistent basis, so... Yeah, we're getting, like, pretty much anywhere between 10 and sort of 12 people at a minimum. And then yep. when you get, like, the random Sydney people come down, we're getting... Like, the first time they came down was bonkers. Like, we just had... Bro, the first time they came C down, we had it, like 24 it was people 24. On, a, on a four round locals, and it was like, it oh, was five, 24, four. and it was meant to be five rounds. Oh. And I, I was like, lads, please split prizing. <laughs> I beg. I do not want. To. It was 10.45, and we were like looking down the barrel of another because round. Every oh. round had gone to time. And yeah. I was like, and I was just like, please, lads. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure this was on like the arrival of Brave Prank PK yeah. Yeah, it was nonsense. That first night. So, yeah. like, any time that you add prank kids into a meta contending format, there's going to be time rounds because 
just the way that they fuck around with life points. But um, also, uh, randomly, just teaching people how to play, weird rulings come up and they ask questions that like I haven't thought of in ages. I got asked, hey, can I reduce this thing's level to zero? And I went, no. No, I know that because that's just a ruling I know. I haven't thought about this in five years. I've just not thought about that as Rip, a thing. Maybe trying to level leader, leader a little <laughs> yeah. um, But it was interesting seeing like new people come in and trying to get like, you know, some new faces and stuff like this. Had been playing Master Duel, fucking Konami's pipeline, I swear to God. Um, that pipeline's working so well for them. Um, but yeah, see, see if we can get some more faces in for um, locals. But it'd be cool. Remember playing? I don't know if you ever, you guys ever fucked around with it, but I fucked around with it for a little bit. It was when Link format was like early on, level leader blue eyes extra link. Um, I think that sounds like a Josh thing. I think he. I, I saw Yahweh playing I that fucked around at with a it. It was region. Like not terrible. He was playing like blue eyes combo, and I was like, Yeah, it was like not long after the nightmares came out. It was just like cool. I'm just gonna like. I think it was not long after the nightmares came out. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it was... Yeah, you just level leader your blue eyes, and you just summon back, start linking, start linking, start linking, start linking. And you just, you link your opponent, and you're like, cool. They definitely should have... Like, that card needed to be addressed. It is sad to level see leader? it go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so free. No, nah, blue eyes, fucking ban it. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> so vanil <laughs> vanilla blue eyes, limited. <laughs> it's okay. It's is okay. there any vanillas that have been limited or banned ever? Yes. Thanks. No. We're regional. <laughs> We're regional. <laughs> We're regional. Oh, yes. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, hold on. Oh, uh, is it a pendulum? No. Because I was thinking that because it's a vanilla You said limited or banned? Or semi-limited, I don't care. Okay. There's heaps. A vanilla? There's fuckloads. What is he- where is he going with this? I can't think of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Comment below. Hold on, brag. Comment below a vanilla, what vanilla vanillas is on that the banned have been banned. List. There's well, lots. Lots have been banned, or well, lots have been limited and banned. Maybe banned. Anything I don't know. that makes a token? No, because they're vanillas. Uh, links. We moved. Yeah, apparently. I know, I'm just gonna be thinking about this for the next eight hours. Well, oh, you don't have to. You it's can just fucking real. Yeah, there's heaps. But are they actual bands? They're on the. They're no, on sorry, the list. Sorry, sorry. They're on the band list. Okay. Vanilla monsters. Yes. As opposed to vanilla spells. Because what I thought he was gonna fucking try about? and do like some bullshit with like, oh, it's a normal spell. Um, no. no. Uh, There's heaps. Anyway. He's making up some joke and I'm missing I'm it. I'm not making up any joke. No, you it's are! There. Comment you're, below. You're full of shit. No, he's not staring. When he's... No, he's... When he's lying, he's no, staring. No, it's not... He's, he's not lying. He's playing a fucking... Like, there's some, like, specific thing here that he's got us on. That, like... Anyway. That's why I always thought, is it a vanilla pendulum? With it... Oh, wait. Uh, Scout was on the ban list. That's a vanilla monster. That's not on there anymore. It was. Oh no, I have to know what these are called. Yeah, Scout was at one for ages. No, I was like, oh, Scout, no. Because no. they're not yeah. monoliths yeah. anymore. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, the... Um, yeah, anyway, we'll just go through it. Um, so, we have so the... the entire band list, didn't it? Yeah, in graphic form. Oh, that's fine. It's just a bunch of, like, self 50 k cards and nurse. Not specifically. Yeah, garbage list. Hmm? It's yeah. all graphic. Like, there, there was one I found before that was all written out. Oh, so, I know what some of them are, but some Look, of them are obscure as fuck. Fine. I'm not going to know what they a are. A bunch of self OTK cards got banned. He's okay. Okay. There's a couple of other Just cards that Master are relevant. Duel. Garbage Lord. Yeah, we're, we're, okay. we're at Master Duel. What relevant cards were banned, Jake? Um, I'm just getting to the actual list. He uh, clicked away from it. No, no, because they were in graphic form and I can't fucking Yeah, but that. if you don't know them, they're not relevant. Okay. So, um... What yeah, so for the NR Festival, which starts um, as of Wednesday, which is probably as this is um, happening. Um, so nice yeah, as job. Ben said, there are a bunch of um, self 50 k cards that have been banned. Dice job. Yeah. Um, more so for the actual format, there's been a few <laughs> limits. Yeah. I free my man Des Koala, what the fuck? Yeah. What so... did Des Koala do wrong? Punch in face. Oh. Um, so yeah, so cards that are sort of more relevant to the format that have been um, addressed, uh, we have uh, Megalith Full. Um, and this is for the event, exclusively. Yeah, this right. is exclusively okay, so for no the new event. content, just event. Yeah, really doing it. my toe hurts. That's right. Uh, Planet Pathfinder to one. Wait, leave my boy Parthy alone. No, fuck that bitch. Um, uh, we've got a ten-year Spirit of Vishuda. 
and Udgarda generator boss of delusion. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, moon mirror shield. One. Moon mirror shield to one. Yeah. Good. Um, moon mirror shield. So the pacifist stuff's all fully legal. Um, well, we're getting to that. Um, so Ooh. we've got uh, fists, Semis? fists of the unrivaled tenny to one. Uh, Phantasm spiral battle to one. See self. See stealth attack to okay. one. Um, and true Draco apocalypse to one. Sure. Um, in semi limits, we've got uh, Dralath or Draith, the third, the true Draco Valley general. That's the Earth one that never get ran. Yep. Uh, Sire Reflector, which is the level one that gets you free Sync 8 material effectively. Um, Magispecta Raccoon Bunbuku. Megalith Baythor. Uh, Star Seraph Scepter. Um, Raphion the Time Lord. Magispecta Crow Yada. Zolga the Prophet, Brain Control, oh, yeah, um, and Psychic Blade. That's also been uh, semi limited because I think that's more an F, uh, like self FTK card, but they've pretty much banned everything else that can do that kind of shit. What did you mean by normal monster on the ban list? <laughs> we can just look a it up. Straight up normal monster. No effect? Nothing. There are lots. Four. How do you, what do you mean you thought of four? I'm I'm so stupid. Exactly. The event will offer three loner decks. You've got Arm Dragon, um, a warrior deck revolving around equip cards, um, and Cyframe Paleozoic no with cheating. Iron Chain. No cheating. You can look it up at the end of the podcast. Um, they've also gone back to their original structure for rewards because now there's no prevalence of self FTK sort of ruining things at this stage. Um, so I think it's back to a hundred for. A loss, two hundred for a win. Yeah, you did. That's okay. okay. You've spoken just cutting like... down words, cutting down words. It's fine. Anyway, um, so back to a hundred for a loss, two hundred for a win. Uh, there's also no difference if you use a loner deck or not. Um, just a deck with no friends. What? Yeah. Look, a lot of people. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. Don't know how to deck build, and they're like, "I'm just gonna take a deck with no friends." Yep. Yeah. That's it. Anyway, uh, um, but I'm looking forward to that format. Okay. I like the little differences. Kind of oh, it's it. probably in a deck that I didn't play. That's so sad. You're still stuck on this. Fuck me. Um, I'm assuming you're not building anything for it. Nah, you give no. zero fucks. You probably give zero fucks. But it, this event's been running like four months too long. Has it started care. yet? No, wait. Which it starts tomorrow? The NR Rarity Festival. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Started two we days talk, ago. We talked about this. Out. We talked about this. Oh, last. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We no, were you actively guys, talking about. You it guys talked about this last week. I yeah, all good. Yeah, so it hasn't started yet. Yeah. Uh, clearly, these two don't give a single fuck. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Um, I will be playing Magispector. Uh, Hell yeah, let's go. Magispector's a bunch sick. Bunch of cards go to two. <laughs> Jake, be like, I'm play Magispector. It's... No Kieran. They need Kieran. They don't need Kieran. I want to see Kieran. No, yeah. Kieran. Kieran. The only good no, one. no, no. Kieran belonged in Metal First, and that's the only place it belonged. Wait, is Kieran at one in Master Door? No. What is it here it's now? One in Japan. It is not one in Master Door. Because it was unbanned after that. <laughs> <laughs> ben, big sad. Um, I just want to summon Kieran. Well, yeah, this is not the time nor the place. Uh, nor is uh, the second attempt this year at doing in person YCSs. Uh, they have scheduled in YCS Charlotte for 2022. Mm -hmm. Um, as for the date, I'm not sure yet. Right, can I have yeah. one, please? Is Charlotte uh, April in 9th. a state that's Republican enough to not have cancel the event? Uh, Charlotte's in what state? North Carolina? South Carolina? North yeah, Carolina. Yeah, yeah, no, that's actually, a, that's a very good call. Is that in a Republican enough state for it to not get yeah, cancelled? Yeah, 100%. Because uh, California was going to get fucked the moment anyone yeah, looked yeah. at North the event and was Carolina. like, this is going to get roasted. Uh, Brad, can I have one of the monsters, please? As a him? No. I need one. No. Because I need to know how bullshit you're talking. No. I'm not being bullshit at all. There are no multiple extra vanilla monsters. monsters. No extra monsters. No. There are multiple vanilla monsters on the limited, banned and limited list. Um, so, uh, in North Carolina currently, as of March 7th, Should there is this? a yes. optional for state agencies okay. to wear masks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they have to wear masks. Like, 100% they'll wear masks. But you're right in that they will they won't jump the gun and cancel. Yeah, it won't get cancelled. They are very economy based. Yes. 
<laughs> All right, Prague. That's the most politi politician line. To Carolina. Yeah. Um, oh, but hopefully but this I, does actually go ahead and does I imagine have it'll problems. have numbers out the ass. Do you reckon yeah. they'll stream it? It's America. They, did, like, historically don't there's, stream, right? No, like, there's some that they do. Pokemon does for US. Yeah, um, Pokemon does, but this is fucking I, Konami. I think they won't about. stream They've it for the sake... In America. I think they won't stream it for the sake of being like, hmm... Maybe, maybe not their first one post-COVID. This probably isn't COVID safe, so let's just not stream this. Yeah, like, their first one out the gate, I doubt they would do. Even if it was in Europe, I doubt they would do it, just because they do want to have more control over exactly what's happening in the event and once you add a stream it creates a bit of issues when's twice here sydney <laughs> never um the other question that comes into this is wait reactions thoughts on the ban list before then uh, will this will we have a ban list before when when, when is it uh, it's the start of april no like it's very soon no no chance guys uh, it's really Zero bothering chance. me we'll look Still, it up at the end look it's it up fine. at the end then you'll realise you're a I'm gonna get fucking flamed. idiot. I'm gonna get flamed. Yeah, so is Jake. Jake does no other. I also don't care. They're vanillas. Who gives a fuck? No, but but is this something he would know that I wouldn't? Like, no, you should, should both know. It's fucking obvious. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. Um, now we have further announcements for the next main set, Power of the Elements. Oh, actually, that's a semi-interesting name that isn't Konami's normal. It's Elemental Heroes. Don't get too excited. Oh! Jack. Oh. I swear you were on the podcast yeah, where we yeah, actively we, talked about them. Spoke, Do you it, pay attention to anything that no, happened no, at the time yeah, it happened? Ben said the thing of they're just not giving them what they need, which is fucking the gates. But I mean I said that. I didn't know oh well you know what? I've been saying that for years. It was semi smart, so I thought Ben said it. Um is he what going out of frame? I don't know. He's I'm getting, bothered. He's getting out of frame. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of frame because I'm gonna get flamed. Um, your arm is still in frame. Anyway, um, so we have brand new cars that will help you summon powerful elemental hero fusion monsters while easily, easily while utilizing Jaden Yuki's ace monster elemental hero Neos. The moment they write that in a sentence, all these cars are dog shit. Oh yeah, true. Um, confound the competition with earth fairy type theme that excels the recruiting and the best and brightest earth monsters with strategies from the past. Um, that's that new archetype that we didn't read out last week because no one cared about it enough. That's fine. It's just Earth support Look, in general. There was an Amazonas Pendulum monster. <laughs> it, it had like an essay of text. My, my favourite part is when they do the I'm going to give you so much text and you're not going to do a damn thing. You are going to be played by some random dude at a random locals. He's going to go X4 and never play the no, deck again. He's going to go... 1-3 at locals. Yeah. And that one win is because he played the best card in his deck and had so much text that his opponent was like, what does it do? And he was like, <laughs> nothing yet. about it. <laughs> I'll let you know what happened. <laughs> um, this effect. Oh, a... sorry. It, it negates and then blows your entire board. <laughs> no, no, you've activated the effect. I've negated it. There's no <laughs> taking it, that It's all over now. Goodbye. Literally me against that blue eyes dude yeah. on the fucking master duel. <laughs> oh, you think, uh, poppy thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, more cards for strategies introduced in previous and upcoming sets including Grand Creators, Dimension Force and more that's the Gem Knights is it? yep Okay. a Are brand new world premiere theme focusing on an unexpected type of monster do we know this? The type is capitalised so I'm assuming it means actual type yeah so what's the most unexpected type that you could think of getting support? um you go. Rock. You go. Uh, sea Serpent. Uh, my unexpected type is uh, Ariel. <laughs> Ariel? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. No. Wingdings. It's gonna be Wingdings support. <laughs> this is clearly not something I'm aware of. Anyway. Uh, um, just like the vanillas on the band list. <laughs> Ariel. Ariel's not on the band list. The fuck? I need to know, Ben! Times New Roman has too much support. Times New Roman has too much support. <laughs> He's talking about <laughs> fucking plants. Anyway. Um, um, so elite yeah. levels of humour. Absolute elite. He's, Do you know how he's many times clearly on a high from the fact that we don't know what fucking I'm, I'm checking, I don't care. No, 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 I'm checking! checking. No, I'm checking! 
We have to check so that we can move on. I know, I want to move on from Comment this. Comment already. You better have already commented. You'll know by the end of the part. Well, no, in two He's minutes, looking at that There's right no here. vanillas here. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm fucking so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> I didn't see it before he closed his face. Fucking pieces so of Exodia. Stupid. Isn't that not banned? Yeah, I said Band Unlimited. Band Unlimited. I didn't. I was thinking banned and uh, banned only. Oh, Astrograph, Lunalite Tiger, and Servant of Endymion, I guess. They are. as well. They are vanillas. That's so They're funny. Do you missed all my clues? Man what? was like stretching his arm. He's like, oh. And then he I grabs his leg. He's like, oh. He does that all the time. Yeah, it yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and you said the words to him. And that, and that also fits right. Yeah, that is just a bit. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, next, we have Four. the leaks from Ghost of the Past 2 in the nine ghost Holy shit, that we're really? Getting. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. This is. Hold on, this is actually interesting. This happened in chat. Actually, <laughs> interesting news. I don't look at the chat. So. Okay, that has been don't, clearly don't show demonstrated. Me. I saw okay. one. I saw one. That's All a right. good one. So, first off, we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Then we have Dark Arm Dragon, which I think is one of the ones we knew already. Dark, oh, yeah. Dark Armed. It was in the pack. Like, OG, OG Dad? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. It was in yeah. the pack. Up. We got my reel. Fuck yeah. Um, I like the Arm um, Blue Eyes. The Winged Dragon of Ra, Sphere Mode. Oh, sick! Yeah, that's sick. If, if I get Sphere Moded by Ghost, Ghost Sphere. Sphere Mode, that's sick. Uh, what we what have... if I Ghost Sphere Mode people? They pass turn, it comes back to me, and then I. Ghost Ra. Do the chant and then Ghost Ra. No, you do Bragg's chant. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, all monotone as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's the looking to the abyss of the last like couple of words where he goes. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. Uh, we have Blue Eyes White Dragon in the OG anime art because I think the original one that's was oh, um, right, the, yeah. in different art. Yeah, it was. Yep. It was in crap art. That's a nice one. Uh, we've and got, will be a thousand dollars. We've got Dark Magician Girl. Um, what? Which one? The actually, one? This is a different art as well. That's People keep claiming it's the lot, but I don't think there's cleavage. It's not. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we've got Red Eyes Black Dragon. The OG one? No, OG by one? lot, I meant there is a still Oy! another lot of uh, DMG. Lot. Oh, of course there is. There's always It's like pentagram lots. on the chest with cleavage. Oh God, am I really doing this? He's zooming in. He's zooming in. She's underage. That Walk man just committed a She's crime. actually a thousand years old. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have Tomias getting a ghost. The spell? Yeah. Apparently the, spell. the text has changed. But it's not changed to let them search. <laughs> 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 not search walk prep. Oh. Whatever the fuck. They need to search that guy for. Um, That's Chaos one. Oh, Red Dragon Archfiend getting a ghost as well. Yeah. Took me a while to work I out because you guess, can't see yeah, the art. I guess the um, its counterparts have ghosts. can't see right? the art normally. <laughs> That's going to be the one you don't want to pull. Um, oh, and shit. What? No, as you said, like you get all the other Sinon Dragons as ghosts. Though. Yeah. So I do want to pull it. No, but, but it's going to be... Hate the, 5Ds. It's gonna, gonna, I do hate 5Ds. It sucks. It's, it's a fucking terrible series. Suck me dick. It preceded the best series, which is GX. Neither of those tastes are correct. Both of them succeeded, proceeded. No, proceeded is before it. I'm it's stupid. It's seated. In seated. Thank you. <laughs> After seated, it just fucking isn't. <laughs> After seated, <laughs> whatever you said, I was just going to accept. Post seated. Post seated. And because it needed another high rarity print, we also BLS? have Cyber Dragon. That was that's the, that why was are you it. looking at it like you're going to be able to see the art? It's a that fucking was, ghost rare. That that's how they work. <laughs> It's literally a white <laughs> panel. You can't see anything. <laughs> it is just a white panel. I was, is, is it the OG art? How would I know? <laughs> Let me investigate, Jake. I have the same information as you. How would I know? They might have written it on the post. <laughs> if it's the this OG is... art or not. No, no, this leaker just... You, you can kind of see the oh. other eight. And then the oh. Cyber Dragon is just... Nothing. You can't see it. <laughs> this is one of the anything. reasons I hate ghost rares, because you have to get them in exactly the right go. light to be able to see, and you're like, oh, that's impressive nine tenths of the time. My favourite part is Less getting sphere mode, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> I can't see this. So, my biggest gripe with these is that you cucked us out of the agent structure deck, 
and put them in Ghost of the Past, which is egregious enough. And then you also don't give us a high rarity card. Because at least with Infernoble, when they were printed in Toon Chaos separately, they got fucking collector's rares What are you shit. talking about? So, Agents. Sure. The Retrains. Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming out and goes to the sorry. past yeah. instead of a structure deck yes. like we're supposed yes. to, which yes. we also talked about on which the podcast, which rarities. we were actively part no, of. No, no, sorry. I, for some reason, Agents in my brain, you were talking about, like, machines. I now know what... Yeah, I'm with you. Because yes. I was thinking too recent. Um, anyway, to cut yeah. a long story short, where are my ghost rares? No, so, no, but yeah, I see what you're saying, where they're now they're shit Wait, you thought they'd give Asian ghost rares? Agent well, ghost rares, yes. yes. Not- Just one. That's all I wanted. I mean, there's oh. nine slots. Why would there's you- ten, there's, there's ten slots, no. There's nine. There's only nine slots? He I said nine. ten. No. Because they said they doubled the amount of ghost rares, and it was five no, last time. doubled the pull rate or something, it's still not. It's double the pull rate, oh. but nine slots. Oh, so they might not be as expensive. No. No. Why not? Because they're shit. They're not. What's- What's going to be the most expensive one? They're shit. They're not. No, no, as in like, fundamentally, oh, in realize? the context of Yu-Gi-Oh! as an entire card yeah, game yeah. from the start of this card game to... Okay, you keep saying this, shit. but they were a meta deck at the time of their release. You need to stop saying this, you're wrong. What? No, no, no. I'm, what I'm getting at is in the context of all of Yu-Gi-Oh! They're a shit choice for a Ghost Rare. Sure, okay, but do you think... There's been worse hold Ghost on, Rares. On. I see what you're saying. Do you think Ghost Rares like should be, in, in terms of... Uh, a un almost now a very unique rarity that we're only going to get very very occasionally yes. do you think they should be a collector item or do you think they should be they should be somewhere item. in the meta they game? should not be somewhere in the meta okay game. then that's the disconnect then because if they're going to be a good deck a playable deck do you give them the ghost or do you just let the collector whores do their thing where they go i'm gonna pay fucking a thousand five hundred dollars for a blue eyes because i can't see it mm. um exactly or do you put fucking I don't know what's the what's their vanilla orb? Yeah, yeah. Shine what's ball, it called? Ghost. Shine ball. I want ghost, ghost shine ball that you, you can't see it. It's like hey. just fucking use sphere modes. No one's gonna give two fucks. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's an orb. You c yeah. It's like, sorry, I'm proxying my 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 fucking. <laughs> okay, so maybe not a ghost box. rare, but a to high, give them something high rarity. Yeah. Yeah, give them a high rarity card. Guess what? Like, They're ultra rare in the set. Man, it's not enough. There. It's not enough. It's a, I'm sorry. It's agent. I think Ultra, I think I think I think agents high rarity for agents. Beggars can't be choosers here. I think you're like you they know, fucking can and will. Do you can. have super shine balls? I do now. That's not their highest rarity. Do you have them right now? Not right on me now. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean that's not their highest rarity? It's not. Technically speaking, no. Um, there's a um like championship pack where they were like a a starlight or not a starlight, but like a speckle oh, rare kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, they were super rare, because they only got handed out at, like, one tournament in America. It's a cool story. I, uh, had a... No, <laughs> yeah, I have a... He's on smoke. I have a cool story. Someone's oh, oh. my fucking parking spot. I'm going on race. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Shrine Ball, you go. Yeah. So, uh, customer coming to work the other day. Customer I get along really, really well with. Uh, comes into work, and I'm on my lunch break. I'm sitting at the back, I'm chilling. And he comes in, he's like, to one of my co he's like, Oh, I want to pre-order, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! structure deck. I need pre-order three of them. And, like, I had literally just pre-ordered the Albert Structure deck. So the person that was over is like, Oh, so you want to pre-order the three Albert Structure decks that come out? He's like, no, 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 I want, I want a different one. I'm after uh, Agents of Destruction, or whatever he said. Whatever it was called in the OCG. And, like, my coworker was like, Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, it's not my system. I don't know why it's not my system. And I'm, like, sitting at the back listening. I'm like, do I get up and answer this question? At some point, when he, yeah, when do I... Uh, and, like, they, they're going on for a little bit, and... She's like, oh, are you sure you don't want the Albert Strike one? Because it's the only structure deck in our system. And he's like, no, no, no. It's it's coming out. It should be coming out like any like minute now. It's been out for a while in Japan. Jesus. We're waiting for it here. And like, she's like, no, I, I swear it's not there. Like It doesn't exist. And I'm like, I've got to hop out. I hop out and I walk out the door. And I'm like, no, you can't have it. And he's like, why can't I have it? He's like, it doesn't exist. We're not getting it. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, they just decided we're not getting it. you got to buy Ghost from the Past to get it. And he's like, but I just want the agent stuff. And I was like, no, 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 no. You've got to buy this other <laughs> product to get the agent stuff. And he's like, this seems like a ripoff. And I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Yeah. And the Ghost from the Past is going to be structured similarly where you can't buy it per pack. It has to be in the display thing. In a display, display thing. You get more in the display now. Okay. Apparently it's four packs instead of the three. But the price, the, MSR, the MSRP is high. And I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a guaranteed ghost per box. Not per little per, box. Per display? Per case, yes. Do they call it the display, per, right? Per, yeah, per... Which would be opposite. six. Oh, cool, cool. Which would be like six things. Yep. 
people are gonna be scumbags about it, and yep. I can't yep. wait. You pull one, sell online. Yeah. I want high rarity agents. If I'm not getting them in a structure deck, it give me some the, reason. It has to, to be the shrine bolt. So Jake, hear me out. Hear me out. If you got them in a structure deck, you'd get one ultra, four supers. That's fine. In Ghost from the Past, they're all ultra, even the shit ones. Yeah, but and I have get to, to be then Taco buy them a month some, and a half. from somewhere else. Oh my! You'll buy them from Nikijo for thirty cents each because they're all dog shit. Enter code Nolan Five at checkout. <laughs> I'm not getting into this argument with you. I'm not. I'm not. Is I'm this not. what it was like for you with me and Lachlan? Because me and Lachlan enjoy just getting into shit because we do. So with us three, was it just me and Lachlan getting into shit and you sitting here where I am just laughing at this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fun. I'm right. Yeah. Wrong. Uh, next, right. we have I'll message Labyrinth Nathan card. later and I'll be like, Hey Nathan, can I get these for free for Jake and to call him all on five and check out? And he'll be like, yeah, they're dog shit. I'll give them to you. <laughs> but you have to write on all of them. Yeah. I was right. And just... There you go. For oh, free. No, I'll get little poop stickers and I'll yeah. stick them on all the arts. Labyrinth Servant Ariane. What, what? What? I don't. Why? I don't care. It's weed bait. Sure. Mm, I would like to argue against you, but however. Um, <laughs> can I have a card? <laughs> oh, why is it a small girl? <laughs> There's no arguing there. There's no Stop arguing that at all. Printing small women. Uh, level Stop four. It. Dark Fiend effect, attack 1800, defense 11. You can only use a first and second effect. Fucking pedo bait. Once per turn. I don't know if I'm by a side, um, but it is. Send one normal trap from your hand or set from your field to the graveyard. Special summon one level four lower fiend monster from your deck in defense, except for itself. Uh, if a monster leaves a field due to the effect of your normal trap card, you can draw one card. Then you can apply the following. Either special summon one fiend monster from your hand or directly set one spell trap from your hand. You know, they did... I swear that's missing an effect. Because it doesn't say to go to jail after you use this card. It's true. It's true. You have to call your local police. Yeah. And tell them, them you're a nonce, and then you have to go. But do you, no. It's gonna cause such like I'm starting to pull myself up when I know it's going to lead into a big conversation. Do you think Yu-Gi-Oh has the fucking view it has because they keep doing this shit? Do you think people other? Not that it matters, but people who play other card games go, ha ha ha, you're playing the fucking pedo bait game because look at all the small women you're playing with. He's referring to the magic players that Not sit there like with like flesh stroking and their neck uh, beard, uh, being like, <laughs> <laughs> also, I get banned. Um, <laughs> um, but I will I- deport you. <laughs> um, but I genuinely, I think you guys have a bad rap because partly because of this crap. Yeah, yeah. The problem is that people it. keep buying into it, even when it's not good. Jesse! Oh, cool. Alright, yeah. That's yeah, fine. He doesn't watch his other. Yeah, neither. Despite having been part of the channel for X amount of time. Anyway. Um, but yeah, it is a problem that they keep printing these archetypes. Like, trap it's tricks. so... Leave strong. them where they were. Like- Instead, they printed a Link monster... That's actually, like, in terms of effect, is really good. But then the artwork is just like... Ugh. Were Dragon Maids, like... Overtly young. Or oh, a little bit better. Like... Nurse in the blue one. Okay. Look a little Um, weird. live twins doing fucking really. Um, this shit. There's so many other examples I just can't think of them. Oh, the charmers. Not the charmers, but the double, the small charmers. Notice that it's referred to fucking long. The, the blue one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was gonna bring it up. Guy. Fuck that guy. Yeah. It's I don't bullshit. know. Quick Yu-Gi-Oh has like all of these cool art that I think actually look pretty nice and yes they don't do proper like art for their cards and their cards are very small so you can't but I think they have like some archetypes that look really cool and are fun to look at and nice to put on promotional material and then they're like here's our promotional material small girl come to our YCS and interact with everybody else that likes to play with small girls win giant small girl card thanks Put it up at your in your mum's basement where you. No, I'm just not going to continue with this. It's going to get very yeah. insulting to the pedos in our community. My bad. <laughs> I'm so mad. At, I'm so mad about it. I'm so angry about it. I just hate it. Just stop doing this shit. Next, we have Darkwing Blast, the next set for the OCG. Oh, okay. okay sure. uh, will be released on Saturday, July 16th. The pack will include new cards that enhance past themes and new themes. A plus one bonus pack will be included as a box purchase privilege for the first production. We get box toppers? 
Yeah, apparently. That's it in the OCG. Oh, oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm cu- I'm re- does it say what's in them or is, the- is that no all? it's it's only the first announcement but apparently in V-Jump next week it'll have more info I'm really curious about that from memory they did do a little bit of time where they were doing a box topper in their uh, structure decks as well it panned out pretty well from memory. was it a pack of the set that was relevant or yeah. was it kind of uh, like a- it was like an expansion to what was in the structure deck okay so like we got a like some semblance of it in the um, Charmer, the Charmer yeah. one yeah. But yeah over there they did like you got a booster pack inside of the structure deck and that come with like the chance of getting a really high rarity version of one of the cards in the structure deck Bandai did the same with like did you monitor like this they yeah, they yeah they've got dash packs, packs. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, but in their booster boxes they get oh, if they anybody get doesn't know what we're talking about sorry because it's if you don't play other games um, Bandai does box toppers yeah. in their boxes Magic sometimes did them on the top yeah uh, and then normally they're like Guaranteed high rarity versions or alternate um, art versions of other of cards in the set, and you can kind of only get them from those box toppers. So it's kind of an incentive to buy a full box or something, and yeah. then you might get a card worth a fair bit of money before you even open a pack, which is cool. Yeah. Um, so judging purely from the name, do you think this could be Black Wings? I actually really hope that. I saw it and I was like, please. Where's my man Harley? Black Wings in here. Where's my man Harley? Well, oh. um, well. Part of me hopes that it isn't because you talk shit about agents, and then other part of me hopes yeah, that Blackwings it is and good. that it's shit anyway. Um, uh, literally, realistically, just give me Blackwing cards that say special. If you control Blackwing, special summons cards of the field. Don't give a shit what the rest of the effect says. Just print more Blackwings. That's what they all do anyway. Exactly. Need more. Okay. Yeah, I actually think the ratio at the moment is pretty good. They don't realistically need more. They just need a similar uh, Simon that doesn't uh, that doesn't lock you to darks. <laughs> I really like that Simon to not lock me to darks. Simon. Did they do like that, I guaranteed say, secret? In the it's not very Simon. Box top one. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. If the pool of secrets is big enough. I mean, let's work on getting box toppers before we. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking rarities. about a nicer, co- uh, like a, a comedy, a comedy. It's so late. Economy way to make the oh, game. I like... thought you were trying to say Konami. <laughs> no. Yeah, but I, I, wasn't I was sure trying, what to, say, trying to say um, Konami or. Oh, economic konami but it just didn't fucking function in my brain <laughs> economy 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 a uh, way to like make the secrets a bit less we do move but. and we move on to a question from our discord if you're not aware we do have a discord link will be down in the description feel free to join ask us questions chat with the other lads you can ask us whatever you can ask ben what he did about the dude in his parking spot we didn't care i'm gonna that fucking car tomorrow <laughs> listen you get related or not bro just ask us shit just instantly care. kind of ruin the fact that this question could be uploaded to my channel because i just said fuck like five seconds in it's fine come and watch the rest of the podcast if, hey, you're, wait, wait. if you're watching this question on my channel is this a good question uh it's a decent question from tuesday is noob um no, which will be here. read out by um our dearly departed lachlan <laughs> he died g'day lads you miss me so i'm gonna be the one who asks your questions from now on our first question is from tuesday is noob he says he just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! through Master Duel in GOAT format. And he says he quit around the time of XYZs. And he was looking for some podcast and ours came up. That's because we're the best one. Uh, <laughs> uh, he asks if we think the current format has a lot of decision points. And how we rank it in the timeline of the game overall. Um, that's pretty much the only question this week. Uh, I imagine I'll have a bit more work in the future. But yeah, don't miss best deck. I also had heard that before, so the lip sync I think will be close-ish. I made it up. Um, <laughs> Dynamis yeah. not best deck. It's a funny, it's a funny question because. But so by decision points, I'm assuming he meant like when to hit certain decks in like can traps or like what what is. Yeah, it? I'm thinking it's like at what point choke points do you decide to interact with a deck? I'm actually because if you just do the clicky button thing yeah. with most decks and just hit every. Thing that they do immediately, I, I'm, I'm fucking destroyed. Yeah. I actually took that a little bit differently because I feel like every single format on Earth has that, and that's the only big zoo format to... didn't have that. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, I kind of took that as a form of if in combos or doing your game plan where you can go one way or another way with how you're going to function your game or your deck. Depends very much on the deck. Like, but 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 because that that like. I think when he's saying how do we rate it in terms of other formats, he's kind of wanting us to say, is there 
a functional choice in the game right now or is it very linear where you just go here to here set up board suck or don't suck like and yeah. that's what he's again, saying again it like, depends very much on the deck that is very much my um, it's my deck too with the it's just my deck just do the board can you break yeah. it no nah, cool a lot of the current format is very linear the simply the only variety in the current format seems to be did I get hand trapped okay I make Verte yeah yeah that's that's essentially the, yeah. what a lot of the boys evolved to uh, tonight when I was playing uh, against uh, prank kids I like had double hand trap had a ruling incorrect so I hand trapped it overtly the incorrect times uh, and he was like oh okay I made Verte and I was like cool and he's like send fusion this and he was like cool wonderful my hand was already reasonably shit as well, and I was like, if he opens, like, one hand trap and there are two cards left in his hand, I'm fucked. And then he drew Ash, and I was like, cool. And then I had bad hand. I think, um, do you... I actually don't think you... Uh, I think it's now an uncommon occurrence for you not to be that way. Mm -hmm. um, I think the game functionally is in a place where, like, as you said, the skill in the game comes from where do I hit things now... And how do I set up my board through hand traps? And that is where the skill comes in the game. Not, yeah. hey, I have a bunch of different directions my deck could go. Where do I feel like is the most optimal against what I'm facing? I don't yeah. think that's really where we're at. 100%. Like, the difference at the moment in Yu-Gi-Oh! between a good player and a very good player is that the very good player knows precisely when to hit every single deck and the variables that would occur if that hit takes place and they have the extender. Mm. That is what separates good players from very good players do you think the game or the format right now is functionally in terms of the variety of decks also the types of gameplay we're getting do you think it's better than the last couple formats or just i think you said overall everything is so linear like given also the fact that now we've got brave for decks that play brave are just like did i do my brave engine before i comboed no okay i'm still gonna try and combo if you open a way to stop that it's okay. I'll make Verde. Uh, yeah. It's, fun it's funny that, like, I've noticed how linear the game is in being linear myself. Like, because my game plan is just... Summon M-Pen. M-Pen statue, and, and then the trap, I've come a across a lot of situations where I go, what is every possible thing they could open against me? What breaks this? what doesn't break this yeah. and then i've looked at like okay where are all of these decks gonna go and i've kind of sat there going man as long as i flip at some point during this time span you're kind of not going to do anything yeah. and that's about it i'm not seeing any like functional way they could remove the monsters on my board without like something already established they don't play any like functional back draw removal especially not pre-sideboard yeah like there's not a lot of like interesting choices that have been made sometimes i get cosmic and then i just flip the trap anyway and start doing my thing um they didn't stand by phase that cosmic correct that seriously one person did it against me and i was like i literally i was like very good decision i like audibly was like yes nobody's doing that against me yeah um but i'm it's... noticing that like most decks are just kind of doing a thing and just trying to get to that thing no matter what and it's like okay Sure. And I think it's because so many decks at the moment can push through one, perhaps even two interruptions. So there isn't that thought process of like, oh, well, these are the many different paths I can take. It's just like, I can play through two of whatever you can do after that. Then I might have to think about it. A to B path. is my best route. Go that way. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it's very brain dead kind of way to play the format. The, I think the more modernized yu gi -Oh's become, the more brain dead yu gi -Oh's become. I th yeah, I, I think it is just the power of like just... splashable engines because again, you're looking at Brave. Why play something that is going to divert? Or, or as much as I don't really love combo, combo decks that say like I have a bunch of different boards I can set up depending on what I'm versing. Why do that when you can just play PK yeah. and then go here's my Omni plus I'm gonna set Fog Blade and some other shit and go say go. Those decks like, are also a lot more consistent. Yeah, like throw hand together Unga Bunga decks. Like, tend to, you know, not be the most consistent thing in the they world. They have bricks in the deck. They have, yeah. like, they can open a couple of hand traps and then just cry. I think that yeah, the more modernized Yu Gi Oh's become, the more we've gone down this route. I think, as I said before, the turning point was probably around Zoo format. 
Yeah. We left zoo format and went in spiral format where you were just like, unga bunga monkey make big board. Go there. Then we kind of moved into what, like an FTK kind of weird window where... Danger, yeah, Danger FTK. Yeah, where it was yeah. like, no, so that was when it was like Pendulum FTK, Gem Knight FTK. Yes. And then like yeah, weirdly the yeah. deck that won the YCS was... Sorry, pre, uh, yeah. Fucking... Berg, no, no, boy. The deck, you like the... No. The Which, more, YCS? Um... Sydney. No, the one after the Sydney that year, the one straight after the ban list, uh, World Chalice. Oh, yeah. Oh, World yes. Chalice won that YCS. Yeah. And even then, that's a very like linear. I did this kind of deck. Mm, then we moved warrior. from there. Yeah. Yeah. We moved from there into Extra Link. I'm just here to Extra Link you. If you do anything yeah. to stop yeah. me, I guess I kind of set up a try, a fucking try wizard thing. Do you think? Then we went. Omni to... Negates are like send me the problem then, because like. Yeah. functionally having a card that says I don't mind what you're playing I will be able to stop you no matter what yeah. it, why would you why would you not play an engine that lets you get to an or a deck that lets you get to an Omni Negate you yeah. always would over oh, yeah. I'm going to set up what used to be the case I'm going to do hero is, stuff or like I'm going to set up um, even in Blue Eyes like even ABC format with Blue Eyes being like Andrew doing his thing where he would go okay if I'm versing this certain deck, I'm going to go into the big XC that stops spells. Yeah. Ah, uh, fucking... Uh, I'm not going to remember its name. Oh, Hope Harbinger. Hope oh, Harbinger. I thought like, you were just, like, playing... I thought you were no, thinking of something like, else. It was like, I'm going to go into Hope Harbinger, or I'm going to go into Spirit Dragon, or I'm going to use Azura because I know this deck can't get over it. Like, knowing your matchups and stuff like that. But when you have an Omni Negate present in all, pretty much most meta decks at this point... And as you said, like even going in from spiral and shit, being like try wizard, you're not going to evenly me, yeah. like st stuff like this. Why wouldn't you do that? Why would you try and like put yourself down a hole where say I'm only going to negate monsters or yeah. stuff like this? It's what was the last like, modern kind of as a like, card goes past? What was the last like modern format where Ugh, I'm going to jerk myself off exist. so hard for this question? Uh, it's 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 pre Necros. No no no, because I just said I. From Zodiac onwards. Oh, pff, nothing. It's pre Necros is the last time that existed. Because th I think that was the last time the game functionally lasted seven to eight plus turns. Well, and so you would have to set up multiple. Because Zoo couldn't kill you. Unless, like, Kaiju Zoo was your only way to OTK your opponent. So, Fusion like, sub Zoo, I guess. So pre post that ban list, yeah. where they could just fucking murk you. Yeah. So, um, like, yeah. post <laughs> that period. Yes. When was the last deck where you could functionally play combo and not have it be linear? Oh, even, even not combo, but even, like, a deck that you would play based on what you... Like, a, I, would, I want to say mid-range. Like, you're not playing for the start of the game to just shut down. You're playing yeah. to functionally win and outlast your opponent or in some capacity. I don't think... I don't think, I don't think there is. Any. Comment down below if you... If you uh, hasn't been a format about... that's been, like, this is definitely this thing. The closest we come to it is like post January ban list where they tend to just murder everything. Then you <laughs> get a lot of the mid have... yeah, you just yeah. get a lot of the mid range decks coming mm, to the top. Because that was Shadows. and that. But then again, in that format, oh, yeah. the best deck was Spiral, another linear just combo deck where you are just like I am here to set up my Appaloosa and my Sleeper. I want to do Appaloosa for four with Sleeper, uh, and then maybe another small shenanigan pass. Because it was that, and it was, uh, and it was Shadol. And Shadol was only good for that one event, because they decided to just fucking rule Meltdown. Absurdly. Yes. Even, I, I didn't even, I wasn't even playing at the time when I saw that person in chat, and I was like, <coughs> That's wrong. So we does read the chat. Yeah. When, like, there's, like, funny event stuff, or I get tagged by Lachlan saying, look at this shit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Again, again, it also depends on how you want to play your game. If you would like to play in a way that it is, I would like to shut down my opponent. There are people in Magic who play blue. Some people get that. It is just a say no, say no, say no, now I win. That is essentially like... It's not like it's exclusive to you here. It's just... They are a decision... Like, you can play other decks. It's just in you here, it looks like you want to play optimally. That is the optimal way to play. I would still equate blue to like a back. I wouldn't, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't equate Z yeah. like blue to being yeah, like a, yeah. I did a big combo on my card say You no. literally can't, yeah, you will not get through this, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, and I think that's why we're getting, like, more ways to break a board now. Like, they're, it looks like their solution is not to fix 
that part of it. It's, it's to make to, the counter swing more busted. Yeah, it's Nimbiru existing as a card. Dark Ruler. Um, Dark Ruler. Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, Storm. even the match. Just, just a bunch even of... Even Kaiju. Kaiju's coming out at the time they did. Blowout. Kaiju's were well, the Well, they were the blowout that, card yeah. of their format. Like, that like was there was a it, card that fucked you up. You gave them a different card. But, and, but like, the thing. function of, I'm going to tribute over your thing was Lava Golem-esque, sure. But, it just, like, having no drawback and you going, Gammy, play my game. Yeah. Like, and then sometimes also, oh, because you have my Gammy that I gave you, I have Big Dino Boy. Bonk. <laughs> um, but, that seems to be their solution more so than, and my only problem with that solution is it means you have to draw them. And with no way to, like, properly draw them or search them or the you know pros you want to pros for them yeah <laughs> good, yeah pros for them. um it always feels so good to like pros be a blowout card you pros oh. a ruler and then you're like eh. yeah that nearly happened to me tonight i was versing costa and he pros no duality duality um and he evenly matched and i was like oh oh i'll still have my towers but i won't have anything else and then it dawned on me i had the quick revival spell set so i was like oh okay uh, reborn the one that foolish is foolish the one that can um, abyss target something and negate it and he saw me send it and he's like oh you can just target my thing and negate it now can't you I was like yes yes I can <laughs> oh okay after you saw the evenly so I was like aren't those yeah, so rulings he... wouldn't that miss timing if you chain that to the evenly no I'm not completely stupid okay <laughs> so he went to battle phase and I was like yeah before you continue <laughs> no um, but yeah like Droplet, yeah, evenly droplet, yeah. stupid shit like this that is just like unplayable to like work around no matter what you've got. Um, I think that seems to be their their solution, but yeah, it's not. I say God. it's not sustainable, but they've been doing it for it literally is. four years. That they keep doing like oh busted board and then oh but busted cards to add it oh busted yeah. boards and like they keep doing this and then they then swing. they you add um hand traps in the mix where you're like let's make busted hand traps to stop you from getting to that busted board and it's like but I have to open the hand trap to be fair I don't think hand traps are fundamentally busted I don't, I don't think so either but I think that's their solution like, to you setting up a board the only hand trap I would say that is fundamentally busted is Nibiru oh yeah yeah like the rest of them are fine like, uh, maybe like like Lancia Shifter oh yeah stuff okay. that is just Shifter aggressive is against yes. everything Again, that, it's it's these it's these like blanket of turn, turns turns essentially turn skip yes. hand traps. I would say are a problem in the, the game. Yeah, I don't particularly like the like floodgate level hand traps. Yeah, to just say like, your entire turn. Yeah, one is thing that just goes, oh, this search is negated. That's fine. Yeah, droll in certain decks is oppressive as fuck. Yeah, yeah. In certain formats, it's oppressive as fuck. As soon as you see a, a, a format where people are signing through droll or like maining droll, it's like problems. Droll's kind of oppressive this format. Against every deck. Yeah. Not every deck. PK doesn't give a fuck. Sets a lot. They, I mean, it stops they Brave. They do add a bit, especially with the Brave engine. But they're only um, adding... Like, they're really only adding the Brave stuff. No, but like, so Rusty... You know, Rusty can activate, but then you can't search off the PK you're sending. You can't... You don't have access to your fucking Throwdown lad to extend into your Rusty. <laughs> the Throwdown lad. Yeah. Oh, whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Boots. You don't have boots access. Oh, yeah. Like, there's, there's it, stuff. And if that's the worst stuff. case scenario, it's not bad. But, yeah, I, I think there have been formats in, like, as in the last couple of years where people have thought, yeah, hey, games will be healthy. I can play most decks I want to yeah. play. It's not that expensive. Um, I think it, it's legitimately just, just post zoo. Yeah. Post zoo, we've, we've entered. This is modern Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> I feel like I, in Zoo format, I was saying a lot of the time, man, the better, 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 like, the better player's winning. And I like that. Like, that screamed, like, after, sorry, sub combo Zoo. Um, like, Andrew was winning a bunch in that format, like a bunch. And he was testing the shit out of that deck and playing it a lot. And, like, and the YCSs I was seeing, I was recognizing a lot of the names in the top eight because it was a lot of players that were doing very well over the season and, like, they just kept doing well. And it looked like we were in a situation where, like, people who understood the deck and understood especially the mirrors were winning a lot. And so that screamed to me, like, hey, this deck isn't... Like, the game right now isn't super linear. The people who understand the game better are winning. That's sick. I like that we're in this place. And then post that, yeah, you're right. Like, there will be major events since then and just no good player tops, top 32s of YCS. And I'm like, but how how is that a game, bro? Like, to be fair, it's been a while since we've had... YCSs and online mm. YCSs you don't 
tend to see good oh, players because yeah. the good players will show up, uh, but <laughs> there's, yeah. What were you about to say? No, I actually said it. It's because the fucking like, how many of the remote dual wise yeses have been played with cheating? Always problems? controversy. Yes. Is it uh, zoo or link monsters? It's it's not Link Monsters. It's the blue pointy I, I think it's not Link Monsters. Just the point of Konami's power creep. Yeah, it's not Link Monsters. When we hit that, I was point, same time. I I was big on Link Monsters of the death of the game. I was big on that. Looking about looking, if you compare like if you just in a vacuum look at how Link Monsters are operated, some are fucked and do not need to be in the game. And then their spam with tokens is also a huge problem. But it's not Link in particular that's the problem. Like. They're just setting up construction outside. Mm. Alright. Cool. Um, Game's well, fucked. Yeah. No, no. It depends how you want to play the game. If you enjoy the not. system of the game right now, and you enjoy that type of gameplay, in there, bro. Well, fair. To be, to be perfectly honest, I don't mind the format that it's in at the moment. I'm Chiefly either. because for the longest time I've been playing Where going second deck. So breaking a fucked up board it's is like well. my bread and butter. Yeah. Like That's what I've been doing for a long time. So, like, that's just how my brain is geared. Mm. Like, this is the first deck in a long time where I've done, like, a whole linear thing to get to, like, a sort of unbreakable board. Because, mm. like, you can say that I've been about Invoked. It's not true. But, like, it set up the same thing, especially in the Dogmatica variant. Like, it just set up the same thing every turn. Um, but it wasn't like a, oh, this is my be-all and end-all board. If you break this, then I'm in a shit spot. Like, if you broke the Winder Macabre board, it's just like, Cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm unsure about your experiences, but I kind of haven't been going and traveling because I got my invite and I don't need to do that anymore. Um I haven't the one oppressive thing I would say is in the format is Scythlock. Yeah, yeah Scythe Lock. I huh? haven't been Scythe Locked in like a while. I have. Multiple times. And you know how often I've cared about it? Zero, because you just fucking normal summon your bird, which is but I can see exa- I can absolutely see what you're saying. Yeah. Scythe as a blanket effect and the ability to get that consistently yeah. is mega like, fucking I impressive. would say that is the one ultra oppressive thing in yeah. the current format which ruins it. The but only reason it hasn't been an issue for me is because I'm citing specifically for it. Okay. I've got Scythe as a cross out. It's target. like, it's a VFD thing yeah. and there are plenty of other examples. Shock! I'm a boomer. Shocklock is a fucking example. Stop printing blanket effects. Stop doing it. This is the one thing about the game I will say. Fuck that thing. Stop having effects that once they resolve, your opponent is not able it's, to it's do skip. anything about The most it. recent yeah. printing of that, though, was the Arch Nemesis, which even then was a year and a half ago. Other than that, there have been old cards. Yes, they have. At yes. their time, it wasn't a case of, because you can't stop this, you now die. It mean, actually wasn't amazing. Moral Tack was a thing that got hit. Moral Tack was banned before Scythe. It was gunned immediately, like, very quickly. Because you wouldn't die the next turn. Yes. Yeah, true. You go, oh, okay, I'll just summon all my crazy shit next turn. Yeah, cool. Whatever. Yeah, um, and we keep, well, I keep circling Shifty, back to this. I guess. Shifty was 2019. 2020? Nah, that's fine. No one Shifty. played Shifter at first. No, I mean, I mean, like, now, like, it was semi-recent. It was the last couple of years. I think Harpy's Feather Storm was printed after that. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, yeah. Um, Harpy's Feather Storm was Dusa. Yeah. Oh, was, oh, I keep yeah, forgetting that. Yeah. I always just go, ah, it was printed in the Harpy set. No, yeah. No, it's printed but, like, 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 yeah, it's like, just stop, for a while. stop doing it. Stop. I remember stop. when they printed Put it out that, of the game. <laughs> when they printed Harpy's Feather Storm, we were like, fuck, this card searches Harpy's Feather Dust. They're coming back to what? I think that's we, what started we didn't give a like, fuck oh, about getting the back first effect saying skip your opponent's next turn we were like because <laughs> again yeah, at, at, Dusel, at Dusel level it was like oh okay so I miss out on a turn and also yeah. wing beasts were not prevalent yeah. at all Dusel yeah. came out in zoo format yeah uh, or was it the year after I think it was maybe the year after. Okay. Because I remember it having an MX Saber Invoker reprint that was only relevant for a very small window that's zoo format then Oh, I know that. Oh, oh, the MX Saber. No, oh, MX, my God. MX Saber was I forgot how played in Zoo was. format. Yeah. It was. Looped out of Zoo format. We didn't get the reprint until... No, did... Was it in Zoo format? Yes. No, no, it was. It was. It was. It was. It, it um, sparked like hard. No, I mean, like, was that reprint in oh. Zoo format? Or was it the following year and then we needed it for Goki? I think you needed yes. it for Goki. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. Goki format. Another... <laughs> linear... Yeah. Fucking... I combo do this format. 
That was that was less of like, oh yeah, I'm setting up this board. To, oh, actually, that's not entirely true. It was a, I'm setting up this board so you can't play because you couldn't summon. Fucking, You're not allowed to summon by game yeah, mechanic. You cannot summon by <laughs> game mechanic. But also, I'm gonna summon this Link Four that just loops your hand. Sick. Fuck I, I, that. Fuck Gumbla. I, that was a. Bro, that was a. <laughs> I remember that format where <laughs> I had a couple of friends who it was their first top during that format, and they said. That they topped because their games were so fast, they got to go have lunch and like relax between rounds. That they were finishing their matches in 15 minutes flat and then just fucking off and getting lunch. <laughs> they were playing like 12 round YCS and they were like, bro, I'm rested, I'm good. We had two formats of Gumbla before Konami hit it. Yeah, that was not fun. Um, so we had Rongo Gumbla formats. Rongo. I do remember doing relatively well in one of those. Um, regionals because a guy didn't know how to play it properly and he wasn't like extra oh, well, Jake, me. you will see because that's when you got your current invite we have not <laughs> had our <laughs> world we have not had a Nats since then that was when you got your current invite <laughs> or was it? it yeah. wasn't yeah. no I mean, no it's no. close because that would have been were I, you playing August I got it at moment? the start of 2020 I After you August was twenty nineteen. Holy shit, no, no, no. motherfucker! That was two years ago. Yeah, I've had my invite for two years. I thought it was the central before. Or was it the central after? No, no, it was the central after. It was literally okay. like I got I'm it wrong. at the central, the the last event, pretty much to happen in New South Wales yeah. pre thingy. Actually, it was second last because I remember okay. there was a one the week after. Ours was like two weeks before the first lockdown. Yeah. So, I was playing Pendulum at that. He didn't extra link me properly. Um, he what does that mean? looped my hand, yeah. but unfortunately he looped. Um, they, it's supreme. when they loop and only leave a T zone. Oh, okay. Um, so he looped, and then I got um, Supreme King Worm in the grave. Yeah. Oh, okay. And like with that and another pendulum is like pretty much full combo. Yeah, I fucked <laughs> him up. <laughs> he was there like, but I did the thing. I did the head loop. Why you not die? <laughs> Why to play and not die? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's a long, long. Uh, thing to say good Basically, question thank you there are no paths um, no. there's one road up the mountain and one, if, and if you road... happen to enjoy going up that road it's yeah man like play the game you get a hand trap can you make verte that's it can you get to um, barrier statue or my impen yes I can most of the time I realised the other day that Keep like with a map and a fucking bird you just get the impen through Appaloosa no problem <laughs> It's great. Um, somebody was showing. Oh, spoke about, but yeah, somebody showed me if they negate the M pen now, you could just make another M pen. Like, okay, thank you. Doesn't seem worth the turn. Nope. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying playing Flanders in a linear format because it's funny. Uh, yeah. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it at. Have you tried Smog yet? No, I haven't either. Uh, I said I would like three weeks. Ago. I don't Didn't do it. Like how it compresses the space in the deck. Me too. I'm happy with my current deck. Me too. Well, um, give us more questions. So yeah, we, can, like, we need more questions. Yeah. yeah, apparently we That'd need to keep nice. Lachlan busy. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. If you found us on Spotify, we are doing visuals, so feel free to jump on there and check it out. Yeah, um, twice. Yeah, we'll get double ad rep, which is zero. Which is zero. <laughs> we do this out of the kindness of our hearts. Until we get our Nobby sponsor, yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah, where'd that email? Anyway, catch us later. Yeah. Bye.